Ooh, look at this. This one's glowing. Look at this. Is that like a jellyfish inside? Sourced for $10, sold for $225. Sourced for $10, sold for $280. Welcome to the estate sale of a lifetime. All right, everyone, the estate sale we are headed to is supposed to be loaded. Now, I am going to sign up right now on the sign-up sheet the day before the sale because the sale is not supposed to last that many hours. So, it's a one-day chance at this stuff and it's supposed to be raining even more tomorrow. So, a uh, better chance to get some good visuals uh, approaching the house so oh my gosh this is the day before and people are already lined up to get onto the sign up sheet you can see right over there there's the dumpster look at the line of cars already folks oh my gosh so there's the house i mean there is a lot of square footage in there and wait till you see all the stuff that's packed inside of there all right, we are back 24 hours later. Cars are lined up on the street. As you can see, it is rainier than yesterday. That's actually an advantage for me because fewer people come out in the cold rain to estate sales. It is December, so it's pretty chilly out. Uh, there's our house right there. All right, just to show you the prep for going into this sale, I have four boxes here, as you can see. I have one box nested within this one and one box nested within this one. And this box is going to fit in here so I could carry all four at once. Also, you will see that I have a towel here. This is my money towel. And I'm going to take it today to protect some of the items. And you could see I have a lot of newspaper. And you will also see here that I have a black light hint hint and since this house is loaded I also have an extra long tall box that I could come out and get later if needed all right so we've got some Swarovski crystal items here on the table uh, some of them are you know, priced at 50 bucks or more uh, but I love this one here because uh, it has some color on it. Uh, these are four baby lovebirds. It comes with a case, which helps me carry it around. And it's 20 bucks, so I'm gonna pick this one up as the first item. And we're gonna do four double taps for each bird to start off. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so moving on from that table over here, this is an incredible piece. This is a porcelain and bronze lidded urn. And it looks to be in great shape. I don't see or feel any chips. And if we look on the bottom here, I gotta be careful with this, but you can see here we've got a label. It's Maitland Smith. This is a great brand to look out for. These lidded urns could go for hundreds of dollars. So for 10 bucks, we definitely got to get this. Listed for $225, sold for $225. And while we're at it, we're going to grab these. Uh, these look like cufflinks. And it was in this little bag for three bucks. And there's some small ones in here, too. So, very neat. We'll just throw them inside the urn. All right, so this is where I'm keeping some of the items because some of the stuff's just impossible to carry around. So, I've sold stickers on it. This one actually doesn't have a price on it, but I'm confident I could uh, settle up on this one and check out for a good price. Plus, what I'm getting the urn for. I mean, it, that's just a great deal in and of itself. And this is an amazing toy. So for those of you who like toys, we even have some of that here too. This house is incredible so far. These are some nice vintage Asian pieces. They don't have prices on them, but I'll settle up on it at checkout. The plane I was just told is six bucks. So uh, anything that doesn't have a price, it's gonna be um, you know, not too much. So we're gonna grab these two. 
One of the things that helps with these pieces, if you look under the lid, you'll sometimes see uh, some information about origin. So you could see this comes from the uh, Kutani or Kaga province. Uh, you could also see here, I have some newspaper here. I'm gonna wrap these items up so they don't uh, get broken as I'm walking around. We've got this nice uh, solid uh, container here for just two dollars. Uh, it's really sturdy and strong, so uh, I think someone's gonna like it. I don't think you can miss on this for two bucks. Now this is interesting. How many of you have seen a glass pen before? This is made in Italy, Francesco uh, Rubinato. It comes with the case, just two dollars. We're gonna pick this one up. So over here, what we're looking at here is a maxi flower by Sikorsky Crystal. It's not in the box. We've got a great price on it, uh, just 15 bucks. Not only that, but uh, there's another one right over here. I'm gonna grab it. Thank you so much. All right, so we actually have two of them. <laughs> so we could sell them as a set or individually. We're definitely gonna wrap this up because it's got a lot of pointed edges and stuff. We don't want it to chip up along the way. So I think this piece in here, I think it's a Japanese piece, and I think that it's made of ivory. So I want to avoid it on eBay, especially if it's made of ivory. I'm going to leave it here. I just don't want to take the chance with ivory pieces. Okay, let's take a look in here. We're going to open this up. Looks like we've got, like, it might be like an old barber kit or something. But it looks like it's missing some pieces as well. So, yeah, and this case is kind of really beaten up. I think I'm going to leave this here. All right, so what we've got here are some small flowers. These are Savorsky flowers. This is a rocking flower right here. Um, they're all under 10 bucks or 10 bucks or less. So uh, I'm going to pick this one up because this one goes for good money. This is another one right here. And then we've got this one here. And then we've got this one. Sorry, we've got this one as well over here. And they come with little stands. So, um, we're gonna get anything that's colorful that's on a stand. So we'll get this one as well. And you know what? We might as well just get this one too. So we'll just load up. And you know what? I guess we'll get this one as well. Uh, is there a chip on it? I don't know. I don't think so. I think these are good to pick up, so we're going to just snag them all. Alright, I'm actually going to pick this one up. This is a Swarovski hibiscus, and this one goes for hundreds. So, um, we're going to grab it for 10 bucks. This is crazy. Listed for $300, sold for $280. Just grab this one too, given all the deals. This is insane. It's just seven bucks. You know, the more I look at this piece and feel it, I mean, it's so solid. We're gonna grab this for the 20 bucks. I mean, this is insane. I'm literally sweating. Look at that glimmer. Oh my God. And as you can see, this uh, technique of just wrapping everything as I'm going in multiple layers of paper is really helping me with stacking and being able to move around. All right, that's the checkout line over there, but uh, I'm gonna focus over here. There's some deals in here, look at this. Look at all this Asian art, this is amazing. All these little sculptures, the Buddha sculptures. I do super well on Buddha sculptures, so look at the prices. Three bucks, three bucks, uh, two bucks, two bucks, two bucks, two bucks. Are you kidding me? I'm grabbing every single one of these, and then there's something else up here. This is made out of wood, and I'm gonna get this too. Wow.
Just so you know, this isn't some like cheap little resin sculpture. This thing is super, super solid. I mean, it's really, really heavy, very, very high quality piece. All right, I'm still gonna look at those pieces, but I caught this out of the corner of my eye. And oh my gosh, this thing is absolutely amazing. For 10 bucks, this thing is super solid. What an incredible piece. I love animal items. Look at this, no chips, no cracks. Oh my gosh. Let's see the bottom if there's anything here. Back in the day, it says Tanuki on it. It was $45 originally. Right now, 10 bucks, but this thing is old. I've never seen a piece like this. Wow, we're gonna grab this for the 10. <laughs> We'll grab this little container, it's cool. It has this little triangular uh, part where it helps it lock in. It's got a you know, bird on it, and so I'll shout out to Crazy Lamp Lady on this one because that's one of her famous sayings. It's got a bird on it, so I know people will like this. All right, speaking of things that have a bird on it, we've got this dock here that you can open up and put like some jewelry in or whatever. We're gonna grab this just for $3. It's uh, Nice, strong, solid ceramic piece made in India. All right, I'm still looking around in here, but this really caught my eye. Uh, looks like it has like a cat-like creature on top. And then, this is very interesting. Um, I'm gonna have to do some research on it. It's really solidly constructed. Oh, look at that, how that opens up. That, this covers the hole here when it closes. This is like, this is solid like cast iron for 10 bucks. I don't think we can miss on this. We're gonna grab this. All right, just a buck for this little fish display. It stands right here, very cool. Made out of wood and then metal. Just a dollar, can't beat that. This kind of reminds me of a sea urchin given a lot of the Asian art that's here. And so this is probably just a couple bucks. So why don't we just grab this? And also this, this is easy to carry around. Um, you could put like a votive candle in there. So I think that's what it is. This one's priced five. So uh, we'll get both of these. All right, some of you probably saw these on top, but let me give you a closer look. I don't see any chips on them or cracks, these little uh, flower figures. Uh, that's definitely the lady. Looks like we have a guy here though wearing two flowers. So we have a couple. Uh, we don't have any chips that I can see or feel. And I don't see a maker's mark on it, but I don't think I could pass on it for these prices. Uh, $3 a piece is crazy. And um, yeah, we're just going to grab both of these and just wrap them up. Okay, this here is a Japanese ginger jar. Nice, pretty flowers on it. It's probably worth about 20 bucks, and we're gonna leave it here for someone else for the three. All right, this one here is a nice Japanese porcelain floral plate. Uh, two bucks only. Uh, there's something over here. Let's see what this is. Oh, that's just a piece of like sticker residue. So for $2, yeah, I'm not gonna pass on this because we could definitely get some nice value out of this one nice and colorful too all right now similarly i'm going to grab this uh, japanese asian platter and then this little dish as well it's got some nice um, gilded elements to it so we'll stack those together the prices are just they're irresistible all right this piece here i really like it i like how there's a different figure as you rotate it around it's a japanese rice bowl but uh it's probably like a $20 piece. They've got three on it. I don't know what this is. Oh yeah, look, it even says rice dish, rice bowl on it, eight bucks. So, okay, we'll just leave it right here. All right, now I moved this over here. You probably saw it on the lower level on the first uh, shelf that we went to before. But you know, I love things with dragons on it. And this is a super solidly strong glass crystal orb on top for six dollars that's a great deal i think minimum we could get like 45 out of it maybe more who is the fairest treasure hunter of them all you prime time all right we're gonna grab this for six bucks all 
All right, so this piece over here is part of a katana yakiware Japanese tea set. So there's supposed to be more than just this piece, but this piece is so cool with this dragon on it. For $3, I gotta pick this up. Like someone would want this just for themselves. Look at that, you have like a, almost looks like a filtration system or something right there. That's really neat. So we're gonna grab this for free. All right, I think this is the last thing over in this area. Um, this lid is stained up and stuff, and it doesn't feel as well constructed as the a piece that you just saw me get. So I'm gonna leave this one here. And uh, I think I pretty much uh, knocked out all of the stuff here. This I'm gonna leave because it just looks like a big piece of cut glass. I don't see any maker's mark or anything on it. Price is five bucks on it. It's just a heavy cut glass piece. All right, so next to this glass case over here, we've got uh, this piece here. You can see here that uh, it's broken, which is really unfortunate because this is just such a gorgeous piece, but uh, it's too bad. All right, and some of these other pieces we're gonna leave because you can see that cat, which is so cute, has a base on it, but this one doesn't, so it falls over. That one probably had another petal on the other side, so that's why this one is still here. Um, not sure about the unicorn. Let's see, is there something wrong with it? Is there a reason why people left it here for 15 bucks? Hmm. I think we're going to leave it here because it really has a cheap feel to it. So it's definitely not Swarovski, I could tell you that for sure. And uh, yeah, we'll leave it here for the 15. All right, this piece is really cool. I think we're going to grab this one because if you uh, move it around, you could see that the color changes. And that's a very desirable feature amongst glass collectors. And again, I don't feel or see any chips on this one. So yeah, let's pick this up for the 15. I think that's really neat. This snowman is cute, but he's pretty light also, 10 bucks on him. And I think we're gonna leave this guy here as well. So that's the area we just came from. And then we swing over here in the kitchen. This is a prime time first, I believe, folks. If I'm correct, and those of you in the chat can let me know, but this, I believe, is a Murano piece. This is one of the most highly collected types of glass. It's not the name of a company. It's a place in Italy where they actually make that type of glass. Now, it's highly faked, so you have to be careful, but uh, this cockadoo piece, I believe, is... Murano. So now sometimes they have a label on it, this one doesn't. You saw there was uh, like a rooster item here, but that one was made in China. Uh, this one is not. So I think I actually found my first ever Murano item. Wow, this is awesome. And oh my gosh, it feels so sturdy, so solid. All right, so moving over from that area, over here we have some hand-blown glass vegetables. The prices are great on them, three bucks a piece, but these are really worth that much, like 15 bucks, you know, for example, for the zucchini. So uh, we'll just leave these here, especially with all the other stuff. We'll <laughs> open this box. All right, now moving over from here. Uh, this is a hand-blown glass sailboat piece. Uh, price on it is 10 bucks, probably like a $30 piece, so we'll leave this one here. Now over here we have some hand-blown uh, swan glass bowls. I really like this one, it's got the cobalt blue on it, it's nice and big, no chips. It doesn't have a price on it, but I checked and it's $10. Uh, so. It's pretty big. I'm going to have to put it on the bottom of the box there. Um, I'm going to leave this one here. It's not quite as big. And I'm still learning this area. So this will be my one that I'll learn with. And then we'll see what happens with it. So if I ever come across it again, I'll know if I should pick up two of them. But we're definitely going to get this one. This one looks like the best piece. Look at this thing. It's amazing. Wow. You know, I just wrapped this up. I'm going to leave it at check out where my other big sold items are because I just don't want to take a chance of some piece here snapping off, even though I have it protected. We'll put a sold sticker on it with my name on it. All right, so we were right in that area. And then turning around, uh, this jumped out at me. Look at the size of this blue and black vase. $10 on it. I mean, it's super strong. There's no chips. 
It does have a maker's sticker on it, so it's a more modern piece. It says LSA on it. Um, I'm not sure of the value, but it's so strong and sturdy. I don't think you can miss on it for 10 bucks. So yeah, let's let's grab it for the 10. Beth is here watching and she saw me pick this up. She watches the channel and she asked if I gave it a double tap. So I'm going to dedicate this double tap to Beth. So here we go, Beth. Double tap for you. All right, so I was putting that vase in my checkout area and as I was walking back, someone had put this back. I can't see anything wrong with this. Uh, I don't see any chips or cracks or anything. It's a gorgeous goldfish. Look at this piece. I mean, it's amazing. I mean, Wow, look at the colors. I mean, it really pops for five dollars. Like, even if there was a flaw on it, I just think that's such a great price. Let's look on the bottom here and see. I just don't see anything wrong with it. This is actually one of my favorite pieces uh, so far because I love these type of fish. So, yeah, let's grab this one for five bucks. All right, back on the other side, this piece was over here. I had moved it to the side, but then I came back and looked on the bottom of it, and it says handmade. I don't recognize the maker's mark on it. Um, maybe one of you do. This is the proper orientation. Looks like some guy blowing an instrument or something. I'm trying to get it a little more clear for you. There we go. So it's just a dollar. So it's just a little butt base, but I like it. Can't pass it up for a dollar. Right, so that's where we were, and then we're moving over here. Uh, there's a cool bird piece here, but it has some kind of crack on it. This is an advantage of being tall. I could literally stand over refrigerators and see what's up here. Um, but this looks cool. I'm not sure if this is like, I think they call it tortoise shell glass. I and mean, then let me know if I'm correct on that. Uh, I'm not certain on the value of it, but you could let me know in the comments. Um, sometimes they say you pay to learn, so it's only six dollars, so no chips, cracks. I'm gonna take a shot at this for six and let me know what you think. Would you have picked this up? What do you think the value is? Oh, look at the bottom. Plus, you know what drew me to it, of course, uh, fellas and ladies. It's, uh, it reminds me of a cheetah print, so how could I pass that up? Okay, I still want your comments on it, if you would have picked it up or not, but this is why, uh, and I thank many people who were writing in, in the comment section talking about not just using your eyes, but also feeling it, because as I ran my finger around the edge, right over here, and it's very difficult to actually see it, but there is a chip right there. So let me bring it closer. So there, you, maybe you can see it there. So I'm going to pass on it for that reason. It's not a huge chip, but given all the stuff I have, I, you know, I, I don't need to take this piece. So we'll just leave it here. Someone else can, can take it. All right. I have totally filled this box up. It's overflowing. It weighs hundreds of pounds. I have more rooms to explore out that way, but I don't want to lug this around with me. So I'm going to bring this up front with my other stuff and then I can move around more freely with these items. So you have to have a plan or strategy. Um, most people just came barehanded and so it really limits what you can get. All right, so we just came from that area, and now we're moving over here. I put my boxes here already, but just to show you, there's so many paperweights here. Uh, it's something I'm trying to get into, so uh, we're going to look around. Um, you know, one of the things you look for is trying to figure out if you know who made it, obviously. This one on the tag says Maton Studio. Um, I don't think this one is actually worth that much. Uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong on that, but for 15, I think I'm gonna leave it there. Um, some of them might be more modern pieces, but um, you know, we're gonna just look around and see what we could find. All right, so another thing to look for is if the piece is signed, and this is an Orient and Flume piece. It's also numbered. Um, the price on it though is 30. It's probably worth about 60. It's, I think, meant to be an apple. But uh, I'm going to leave it here for a $30 buy-in. All right, so this piece here drew my eye because it says Murano on it. That doesn't mean that it is. Even if it has an actual Murano sticker on it, that doesn't mean it's Murano because sometimes they're faked and that people put fake stickers on them. They do it a lot in China. But this guy, as you could tell, was a legit 
collector. So they want 15 bucks on this. Uh, it's got this uh, lattice element, this uh, like these pink ribbons and stuff on it. So we're gonna pick this one up for 15, um, you know, getting into paperweights. This is probably a good, actually this would be my first glass one. The other one I picked up at the uh, two videos before was, uh, or three videos before maybe, that was a Lucite paperweight. But uh, we're gonna get this one, this will be my first glass one. This is awesome. I actually have a big tall paperweight in the primetime uh, restroom <laughs> down in my basement. And um, it has fish in it. And I love this. It's you know, like, uh, I really like, it looks like it has like a, almost like water inside of it. So it's only six bucks. We'll grab it. All right, so I showed you that I brought my black light with me and this could be helpful to scan for anything that glows because that's a desirable aspect if you can find anything like that. Ooh, look at this. This one's glowing. I'm gonna get anything that glows. 20 bucks, I'm just gonna grab it. Just because it glows, it's such a desirable. Oh, look at this. Is that like a jellyfish inside? Look at that, that's eight bucks. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. So yeah, there's our two glowing ones right there. That's awesome. This is why it's real helpful to bring this with you, you get it really cheap on Amazon and it's just, it's just invaluable in situations like this. I'll put a link to it in my description section, oh, by the way, just on the black lights. Now, one of the things I want to tell you about this piece, besides the really cool glow that it has when we applied a black light to it. it has to do with this mark that you see on the bottom of the glass this scar in the glass is referred to as a pontal mark now i've talked about pontal marks in a prior video when i was referring to glass bottles and basically what they are is an area of the glass that represents where a rod had been formally placed into it to blow the molten glass into uh, its form and so uh, I actually had not realized about pontal marks being on other items besides bottles until many of you actually pointed that out in the comment section. So uh, very good to point that out. And uh, it's not a defect, actually, if you see that. And you could also see these on vases. You could see them on uh, paperweights even. So... Uh, definitely good information to know. Thanks all of you in the comments and just want to make sure I pass that all along to you. All right, so there's this Asian vase that really jumps out to me. I love the facial features of this guy. I think having this kind of visual imagery with multiple people on it really helps. And also this gilded aspect to it looks really cool. You could tell it's vintage with the label on the bottom. I think it's called a Satsuma vase. Um, correct me if I'm wrong on that. And definitely check out the comments. Uh, there's probably going to be a lot of great information in there. I don't see or feel any chips. The price on it is 40 So all you got to do is pull this sticker off and, uh, or not sticker, but this bottom piece, and that means it's yours. Just got to go retrieve it later. But I'll probably just wrap it up and bring it up front. So, 40 may or may not seem like a lot to you if you're watching this, but given the other deals that I'm getting, I mean, I like I said, you gotta pay to learn sometimes, and I don't think I'm gonna lose on it, so it's definitely worth taking a shot. Sometimes you gotta go with your gut, folks. This is my money towel. I've never shown it to you on video fully unwrapped. I've been using this since I started reselling on eBay in 99, 2000, and I'm gonna actually use it this time to wrap this uh, vase up in it and protect it. I'm pretty sure this is carnival glass because it has this iridescent element to it. It's 75 bucks though, so I'm gonna pass on it, but uh, I'm trying to find a carnival glass piece <laughs> to pick up, so I'm sure we'll find one soon. All right, now I'm not going to buy all of the things on the table, so if there's something here that you see and you think I should have picked it up 100%, Definitely let me know in the comments section because 
I'm gonna be learning from you as well as the other way around. But this one, I can't pass up because look at these pink bubbles inside this ashtray and it says Murano on it. I don't know if it actually is Murano, but we'll research it. It definitely feels like it's made of very strong, sturdy quality and it's absolutely it gorgeous. All right, so with that, I'm gonna move on from this section. I think I've got what I need from here and uh, let's go ahead and explore the other rooms. All right, so we just came from over there into this room. And once again, we see Murano, birds on a branch. Gorgeous piece, nice and solid, $45 buy-in. Um, I like the ice-like structure on the bottom to you know, be the branch. Yeah, we're gonna grab this, wrap this up. All right, here's another one. Uh, this one also says Murano on it. Dove, 15 bucks. It said number one on it, so there might have been a second one. I'm not seeing any chips or anything, so I'm gonna pick it up for the 15. <laughs> While I was looking at that, I looked over here to the left. Look at this piece. That also says Murano bird on it. I know all the Murano bird fans are gonna love this. It says Lucio Zaretti, Lucio Zaretti on it. Price is $3.95, someone bought it. Wow, I just thought you'd like to see the piece, really cool. All right, now you may have seen this one up here. It's uh, Murano, uh, at least according to the sticker. You know, I'm not an expert in this yet, so I don't know if I ever will be. <laughs> But uh, it's 20 bucks, and you know I figured this would appeal to someone who likes, you know, circus and uh, who likes clowns and likes uh, even musical instrument because this is some gigantic bongo he's playing. So, uh, 20 bucks, uh, man! Look at the colors on it. I gotta get this one, so we're gonna add this to the to the box. All right, we're gonna pay to learn, folks. So anything that says Murano on it, I'm just gonna grab it. So we've got this. Rano green glass piece for 25. We've got this here. It looks like a, I don't know if it's a cornucopia maybe, but uh, price on that is 20. It says shell on it, so maybe it's a shell. Um, this blue piece here, it's really deep right there. You've got this stem to it right there. It's nice and solid. That's 25, I think that's a great deal. $20 on the horn. And then down here we have some more colorful pieces, which is this shell for 35. And it looks like we have two more clowns. This one here in the orange, and this one here in the yellow. And they are 20 bucks a piece. This is not a Murano right here. We're gonna leave this fish down here. I'm not sure with it. This is actually pretty light. We're gonna leave it here for the eight. So that means we're gonna get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So while I was packing things up, look what I found. Dove number two. So we'll get this one also for 15. And then we've got this one here is another, I mean, this is real, look at the bubbles inside. 15 bucks. So we'll, we'll take this one also. All right, now you probably saw it, but we're gonna pass on the Murano clowns because um, yeah, look, there's cracks and shatters in them right there. So that's why they were probably turned backwards because someone was looking at them and saw them. So we will leave those two pieces here. That's a shame. And look at this. Look at the shell. You've got a chip right here, right in the shell. So yeah, I've been double and triple checking, looking and feeling, and if there's anything else that has chips in it, I'll let you know. Otherwise, I did not feel or detect a chip. All right, so the room we just came from was over there. And now we're over here, and there is an interesting religious piece here. Uh, it's just $3, so I'm gonna grab this. There's not much else in this room, and there's uh, a basement to explore as well. So uh, let's pick this one up and um, see what else we could grab. All right, so that's where we were, and then right over here, Looks to be another Murano piece, and the price on it is 10 bucks. And this could be like a hundred dollar piece or so, so we're gonna grab this for the 10. Really cool looking. All 
All right, so there's some old clothes here, but that's about it for this room. So we're gonna wrap things up in here and head downstairs. All right, that's where we were, and we're gonna head down these stairs, down that way. All right, let's head down these stairs and into this area, and O M G. <laughs> oh my God, this place, it just never ends. Oh my god. What is this? I mean, this is like solid. This is solid. Two bucks? Same thing wrong with it. This will be our first pickup in this room. This thing is amazing. Wow. It's uh, this Asian guy. At first I thought it might be Don Quixote or something, but no. Look at that. Okay, ships I am going to pass on because this is just too much of a nightmare to ship. No pun intended. <laughs> oh, man. All right, here's a different uh, oriental vase. This one's marked $10 as is. Always pay attention to that because that always means that there's some kind of damage to it. Um, and as you can see here, it's got a hairline crack on it. So we'll pass on this one. All right, next to this one is a nice Japanese vase. Uh, really cool, it has a bird on it. So let's look for those things with birds on it. And I'm not really sure how much this is worth. I don't think it's worth a ton, but for $5, it's worth me investing in it and learning about this piece. Really cool, tell me what you think. All right, so while we're gonna pass on this piece, this piece is awesome. I'm looking to see that there haven't been any fingers chopped off or anything. I mean, this is amazing. Look at this warrior. I mean, this is a nice old piece. Looking to see, I mean, there's a few. Oh, look at that. You see that right back there? Darn it, darn it. That's a bummer, because I really like it, but I'm gonna leave it here given how much I already have. All right, I have to make an executive prime time decision. As much as I like the geishas and um, other Asian sculptures inside of these cases, I'm not gonna pick up these cases. It's just too much bulk for me to pick up just too much space with all the cases and stuff so um we're gonna leave these items here plus they're priced 50 bucks you know pretty much across the board all 50 so this piece is cool but it does have a crack in the back or chip out of it i should say so we're gonna leave that there this is neat this looks like a japanese ashtray uh five bucks on it don't see any chips or cracks this looks like it actually goes in it which doesn't really make sense to me. If it is an ashtray, maybe it's separate. Let's see, is that a hair? Yeah, that's a hair, that's not a crack. So, but made in Japan, well, we'll just grab it and look into it more later. Let me know if you have any ideas. Like, do you think this should have went in there or not? It's a little bit wobbly, so I'm not 100% sure. It might actually be separate. But uh, yeah, let's let's get this. It's pretty cool. I and mean, it does have divots in it that make it feel like it's an ashtray. So very neat. So these are some more of the figures if you want to see. Um, these actually are more modern pieces. I actually have one of these. I lost the fishing pole and the fish, but I have this in my uh, primetime bathroom as well. Uh, but again, they're more modern figures, so I'm going to leave them. These is probably more vintage but the ones with the fish are modern um that's a really cool asian dollhouse look at that 50 bucks that thing is amazing wow that's really cool um these are some mud men mud men are very popular um you could sell mud men for a lot of money i can't believe this is actually still sitting here for 16 dollars. that's a great deal oh my gosh i'm gonna grab all the mud men now this one will leave here because see that broke off, but if you could find these moments, now they're very coarse feeling, but they're very, very popular. People love them and I've done very well selling them. And it looks like there's just a ton of them in here. I'm telling you $16 is a steal for this. It's just such a great price. Some of them join together, others don't. They have intricate little elements to it. They're really neat for the 16. So yeah, let's pick, uh, pick these up. I'm kind of wondering if there's, they were still sitting here because people might have thought they were sold because it had the tape on it. So make sure you read the uh, tape because if it doesn't say sold, it's uh, fair game. All right, so moving on from that area, 
Um, this piece here is a modern one, so I'll leave that there. But then over here, there are two more Mudman figures, so I'm gonna pick these up. And then there's a little bit of stuff still left over here. Uh, so, you know, we'll take a look. But uh, let's grab these two for now. All right, so I got the black light out just to see if anything glows. And this one does a little bit, as you can see there. And that's gonna be my criteria, really, for getting another paperweight at this point, is to see if there's anything else glowing. Those aren't, those aren't. So yeah, let's get this one. Look at that, that really looks nice. Uh, price on it, six bucks. And I like the glowing element of it when you list it, because it really helps sell it. All right, so now we're gonna head out of this area and into this room over here. Okay, so over here says unmarked items priced at checkout. So I think these are more like cheaper items. Um, nothing is lighting up with the black light. And let's look here. You see like this has a UPC code on it. So I think we're dealing with more modern pieces. You, know, you can kind of feel that when I'm feeling the quality of them and stuff. So I think that we're gonna pass on the items over here. I don't really see anything that's jumping out to me except the cheetah print, but I've had my cheetah print fix for the day. Got some clears over here. Nothing really jumping out to me. Uh, in fact, it actually says not for sale. So I think that might refer to this thing, though, not the items. I think the items are for sale. All right, and then over here, I might as well just pick this up. This will probably just be a buck. Another one of these Japanese dishes. So we'll throw that here. The bottom box is all filled. Um, and then I like little miniatures. So we'll pick this one up. It's got all these like little miniature bowls. I think someone will like that to display it. It's pretty light, but looks vintage to me. So pretty cool. Let's pick this up. I like the colors too. All right, so that's gonna be it for this room, which means I think there's only one more left to check out, which is actually the garage. So we'll just check out what's in there. Oh, and if you're wondering what's in here, they're just like little bear figurines. Nothing of much value. All right, pretty much just modern random tool pieces for the most part. Uh, nothing I'm really interested in. So now it's time to pay the piper, folks. <laughs> We're gonna check out and see what this total is. I think it's gonna be high, but I think it's gonna be worth it. Let's go find out. All right, everyone, before we get to the total price, two post-production edits. One has to do with that plane you saw me source in the beginning. Uh, price on it was six bucks. I unfortunately was not able to get that. I had tried to put it into my box, but it was just too big and awkward with the wings and everything. So one of the estate sale workers at the checkout offered to hold on to it for me. So I said, all right, I had given it to the person and uh, my fault for not checking to see if it was put over in the area where I had the urn and some other items that I'm gonna show you in a moment. Uh, so by the time I got done with the cell, I mean, there was so much stuff there. I went to check out. I totally forgot about the plane. And so when I got back, I contacted the state sale dealer to see if the plane was still up there. But unfortunately, it had sold to somebody else. So um, if you're going to put stuff at the front by the checkout, make sure that it's all condensed into uh, one spot. Uh, but... Uh, good news is that there were three items that I didn't get to show you uh, completely in the video. Uh, if you go back and look, you'll see some images of some of these things. Like This was against the wall where I had the urn. And if you go back in the beginning, you'll see this hanging on the wall. I couldn't pass up on this. The price was just $4 on it. So this is not something I'm going to ship on eBay, but I would sell it locally on Facebook Marketplace or in a garage sale or something and uh, the fun thing about this is now I could joke and say that it's black and white ducks <laughs> so uh, anyway so really cool nice old uh, velvet uh, frame by the way just a velvet frame uh, is worth it really looks nice I couldn't believe it four dollars I was I had to like do a double take on that that's why I say this was a state sale of a lifetime with the prices on it um, 
There were two other pieces that I picked up. These were like two or three bucks each. Uh, as you saw, there were a lot of Japanese items there. And this is, uh, it actually says on the back, it's called Fireworks by Udamaro. It's Japanese wood block. Uh, you could see that right here. So uh, that's a nice item, you know, just for a few bucks. The frame alone, again, is, is awesome. And here's another um, smaller frame. Uh, looks like some uh, Japanese art as well. There's a little uh, picture on the back, which um, talks a little bit about some uh, artists. I'm not sure if it, it must be, I'm guessing, related to this, but I'll have to do some more research on it. But that was just a couple bucks as well. So, yeah. Uh, those three items are going to factor into the price that you're going to see now and subtract the, the plane from it. All right, let's get to that total price. All right, everyone, here we go. The total price for everything you see here, and this is loaded from front to back, is $582. That is the most money I have ever spent at an estate sale for sure. But when you consider the value of these pieces, I definitely think we got a terrific deal. All right, everyone. Well, I have never been to an estate sale quite like that one with that many high quality glass items at those excellent prices it was a lot of money yes total but when you consider how much i got i mean that was absolutely incredible i mean the whole house was pretty much wiped out by the time that i left so uh definitely glad that i got there early and got it in that first wave because there were people waiting outside for up to an hour trying to get in so you know every house definitely requires its own strategy for an estate sale. And this one really paid off with me bringing all that newspaper and uh, bringing all those boxes. It was absolutely essential for me to do that. And it really helped me navigate that sale and get the types of items that I uh, was able to get. Now, if you're curious how much some of these things are going to sell for, you know, sometimes I work that stuff into a, into a video. I used to do what sold videos, but the people generally weren't interested in them. So uh, what I do now is, you know, for a lot of the pieces that I sell, I'll put a little screenshot and tell you a little bit about it on Instagram. So if you're not following me over there, prime underscore time underscore treasure. And um, I also give people like a heads up about the shows that are coming up. So follow me over there on Instagram if you want to see some of the what sold stuff. I suspect you're going to see a lot of these glass pieces show up over there. Now, uh, I am by no means a glass expert, but I hope that this gives inspiration to people who are interested in getting into new niches, whether it's glass or something else. You know, as I've said previously, I've been studying this area for the last three years or so by watching other content creators and just by doing my own readings and stuff. And it's uh, been paying off and you've seen me, you know, experimenting here and there at different sales recently, picking up some more glass items. So it really helped me feel more confident going into this sale. I am by no means an expert in the glass area for sure. And many of you watching this know way more about glass than I do and maybe ever will. Uh, so definitely look in the comment section to see some of the tips by some of our expert glass um, followers here on the channel. There's lots of useful information there. I'm sure there's things I missed and people are gonna point that out and that's totally fine. I'm gonna learn from people watching and hopefully you pick up some good nuggets from me as well. Uh, but I'm starving. I mean, that sale was intense. I mean, I was literally sweating during that sale. I mean, it was absolutely, uh, it just, just crazy. So I'm going to get some pizza, some primetime pizza, and uh, we're going to head back to primetime treasure headquarters. I have a lot of stuff to process and uh, figure out what I'm going to list first. We'll check in on how Daisy's doing, but uh Wow. What could I say? What a sale. I'm tempted to say best estate sale ever. I don't use that term lightly. I know we have one that has that title, but this one, this one might surpass it. I don't know. Let me know if you saw both videos. If you think this was the best estate sale ever or the other one that's highlighted on my channel, both of which, by the way, run by the same dealer. Incredible. All right. Crazy, crazy, amazing day. Daisy. Hey, we're here. <laughs> Your fan club is here. Wow, look at that tail wag we're getting today. 
Oh my gosh, you must be loving all of the compliments you have been getting from your fans. Look at that tail go. <laughs> you stop wagging it as soon as I start petting you. What's going on, Daisy? How are you? You got anything to report? Anything to let us know? How's the treasure garden going? What's going on back here? We need a we need an update on your on your stuffed animal. Uh, your toys. Well, your toy selection. What do we got over here? We got a cupcake down there. Let's see. What else we got? Um, looks like you got like... Uh, what do we got here, Daisy? What else do we got? Oh, there's an R wall. And then you've got... I don't know. I think this is a donkey. It's definitely not a loon. I know that now. <laughs> right, Daisy? We need to get you a stuffed loon so you could tear that thing up. Oh, my gosh. We gotta open this window here. Mommy never leaves this uh, window open for you. So we gotta leave this one open so you could guard the treasures better that way. So let's let's do that for you. Let's move this one up. And there we go. Now you can look outside better. Now you can look outside better. All right, well, you're still wagging that tail. All right, everyone. Well, I just wanted to uh, give you a little close up of what Daisy's doing right here, hanging out in her perch, as uh, many of you like to call it. We call it that too. Because Daisy is part bird, part dog, part cat, part squirrel, part rabbit, uh, part crocodile sometimes, <laughs> the way she lays. And of course, she's a little lion, which is what Shih Tzu means. So thanks everyone for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. This one certainly was epic for sure. Let uh, Daisy and I know your favorite item overall. And uh, of course, send any belly scratches or tummy tickles Daisy's way. And we'll see you back at the next one, everyone. Take care.